Hey everyone, so I have been seeing progressive officials around the world do this challenge where we try to squeeze in all of the accomplishments from the last two years in two or three minutes. And since I'm coming to the end of my first term in office, I thought we'd try to do the same. So two years in two-ish minutes. Uh, so let's set the clock, let's try to do it. Ready? All right, let's go. This term we successfully passed legislation to move $5 million to treatment for opioid addiction with funds shifted from the DEA, $10 million in funds to clean up toxic bombardment sites in Vieques, Puerto Rico that were getting people sick. Uh, I repeal the Fair Cloth Amendment in the House, which paves the way for the U.S. to build more public housing for the first time in decades. Passed legislation in the House to ban funds going to the transfer of lethal military equipment to Bolivia. Uh, introduced more amendments than 90% of freshman law lawmakers in the House. I authored and introduced the Green New Deal with Senator Ed Markey and secured 115 House and Senate co-sponsors on it. Regional versions of the Green New Deal were also adopted by 10 local governments, including the state of New Mexico and cities of Austin, Los Angeles, New York City, Boston, and more. We unveiled the Green New Deal for public housing, which would invest up to $180 billion over 10 years and create up to a quarter million jobs per year nationwide. I authored the Just Society suite of bills, which would modernize the federal poverty standard, make immigrants eligible for social safety programs, require federal contractors to pay 15 bucks an hour, strengthen tenant protections, and ease reentry for formerly incarcerated citizens. I introduced the Loan Shark Prevention Act with Senator Sanders to credit uh, to cap credit card interest rates at 15%. I called for the bailout for taxi cab drivers targeted in predatory lending schemes and sought over, uh, tougher oversight in New York City taxi medallion lending. We introduced the COVID-19 Funeral Assistance Act Act, which would help families get up to 10K in funeral expenses who lost loved ones during the pandemic. I co-sponsored 78 pieces of legislation that passed the House, 14 that were signed into law, and that's before we get to our investigations. During committee hearings, my question lines helped pressure Big Pharma into bringing down the, pri the price of PrEP to prevent HIV transmission, exposed Transdime, a defense contractor, into returning $16.1 million in price gouge profits to the public, pressured Facebook to fact check political ad um, fact checking political advertising and exposed Mark Zuckerberg's dinner parties with radical right-wing figures. We got President Trump's former lawyer Michael Cohen to state on the record that uh, President Trump was engaging in tax fraud and to name other potential witnesses. We overturned the unjust citizenship question on the census. We stopped the deportation of whistleblowers from the Irwin County Detention Center and traveled to the border to expose abuse of immigrant families in detention and the inhumanity of child separation. I was nominated twice in the Democracy Awards, which was the first time a member of Congress was recognized in two categories, at home in the Bronx and Queens. We helped over a thousand constituents with VA, Social Security, immigration visas, and other federal services, attended over 600 events in the district, hosted 25 town halls, and when our community became the epicenter of the epicenter, we mobilized a full COVID response operation, including 200,000 community check-in calls, 80,000 meals to families in need, 100 thousand masks to teachers, small businesses, and essential workers. We organized and launched a homework helpers program and recruited over 11,000 tutors to offer one-on-one -on -one help for kids in remote learning, uh, raised 1.25 million for local organizations doing COVID relief, hosted eight training sessions to teach over 10,000 people how to unionize their workplace, form mutual aid networks, and child care collectives during COVID and more. We launched a multilingual outreach effort on the census, which brought in over $58 million to our district. On the presidential campaign, I co-chaired the Climate Unity Task Force with Secretary Kerry to help shape President-elect Biden's $2 trillion climate policy. We raised nearly $600,000 for grassroots organizations in uh, Georgia and more than $1.5 million for progressives and swing district Democrats across the country. In my own race, I fended off over $10 million in corporate back to tax without taking a single cent from lobbyists, fossil fuel executives, or corporate money. We won and I was honored to win re-election with nearly 72% of the vote in the highest turnout election that New York 14 has ever seen. Whew, okay, that's not everything we accomplished, but it's still a pretty good list. I ran over and it would not have been, but none of this would have been possible without you all. Um, your support, small dollar donations, uh, your organizing. These accomplishments are not mine, they are all of ours. And so I thank you so very much. Uh, happy holidays and let's keep it going to the next year.